Millions and quadrillions of atoms are the tiny building blocks which make up everything in the world. Uranium fever has gone and got me down. Uranium fever is spreading all around. Uranium fever has gone and got me down. Uranium fever is spreading all around. With a Geiger counter in my hand. I'm going out to stake me some government land. Uranium fever has gone and got me down. For the record, Peter Mason, President and CEO of GE Hitachi Nuclear Energy Canada. Uh, the license is requested for a 10-year period. Turning to Toronto, uh, as far as our uh, liquid uh, discharge to the sanitary sewer, with zero health impact to the public, uh, equivalent to a 50 microsievert exposure, to the air emissions at the Toronto facility, uranium air emissions, uh, it's uh, equivalent to 760 grams. Emissions that are measured in our stack, it's 100% uh, monitoring all the time. And in short, in terms of, of health impact, it would be safe to breathe the air coming from our stack, such that the exposure to the public can be regarded as a trivial dose. So you can see that there is uh, practically zero impact to the environment or the public around in terms of uranium. In 2009, uh, there was a release to the sewer a total of two kilograms. You can see that there is a gradual increase where we scrubbed all of the component parts that we use in manufacturing, which perhaps attract uranium dust. And how long have you lived here? Four years. How long have you lived here? Five years. Five years? But I don't live that far. I live a little bit north, closer to like Ossington. I've only lived here for about a year and a half. Uh, a block. A block away. Yeah, that way. Uh, just right around the corner. Uh, we moved in uh, August 1st. And the ones that are just back there, I think everybody's moving in now. What do you know about this place here? I know absolutely nothing about it. <laughs> well, I heard that they did um, like air conditioners and stuff. What are they doing in that factory? The factory is air conditioned. You have to say in Portuguese. Air conditioned. Truth be told, I have no idea. It looks like a city building. Uh, there was concern that we had not adequately uh, notified uh, the public. I'm just at work. What, what's what's the plant over there? Uh, it's General Electric. And what does it do? Uh, it just uh, makes some uh, granite plates, I guess, or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. Guys, I can't really talk. That one? I think it's like an attaching building, isn't it? Uh, is it an equipment? or? It's quite natural to think that the public is satisfied. Because it's Hitachi based, so I'm assuming they've got some kind of, I don't want to say cathode ray development for like television stuff, because that's irrelevant right now. Yeah, it's the most nondescript building you could possibly imagine. But would it surprise you to learn that they process uranium there? Oh, wow. We followed all of the guidelines for public consultation. Indeed, we went above and beyond what was expected or required. You're saying that it makes nuclear uranium? Would it surprise you to learn that it's nuclear? Yeah, yeah, it would. Here? Yeah. They do that? I would be very surprised to hear that it's a nuclear processing facility at all. Super surprised. Yeah. It's using bombs. I did not know that. I don't know anything about that. I don't even believe it, actually. No, no one had told us that there is a uranium facility very close. I didn't know that that plant uh, processed uranium into pellets. I didn't know that. Here. <laughs> I did not know that. I guess process uranium. I had no idea. That's kind of like chemical in Port Hope. That's kind of dangerous. Actually really dangerous. Yeah, it's radiation. It's just not healthy for like kids living around. Zero impact to the public health. Like it's an environmental issue as well as if it were to like something were to happen, it would affect everybody around the area. At, uh, an area in transition, so, um, and with the diesel trains. So you get stuff like cancer develops, so you get all kinds of mutations. In a residential neighborhood, anybody would need to put a nuclear processing facility, but. The Nuclear Safety Commission allowed that in a, a residential area? Yikes. I'm not sure where you got that information. I don't believe that. I know it's really private. They well, have fences. 
a lot of the times we see like big trucks, trucks that occasionally come in, I guess maybe in the morning or so. I saw in the front the Itachi, something like that. I'm sorry, my English is not very good. But how our world works it affects people's diets, it affects a whole bunch of stuff in the world, it just affects everybody. Uh, there has been no reason for communication uh, since the environment, uh, environmental. Uh, assessment screening uh, that we went through. Uh, so why would we communicate when we had nothing to communicate? Should we still be worried about their processing of natural uranium? Yes. Any uranium, it just, lower and rich, doesn't matter. All uranium, uranium-238, uranium-235, is a deadly, deadly toxin. And the half-life of uranium-238 is 4.5 billion years. So that plant must be closed down. And good luck to you students, Zach. And I look forward to seeing that GE plant closed within a year. For all your environmental justice video activism needs, contact me at zruiter at gmail.com very seriously. And uh, a comment that was made a while ago, I'd like to get all the record. Uranium fever is spreading all around with a Geiger counter in my hand. I'm going out to stake me some government land. Uranium fever has got and got me 